hello guys so welcome again so let's get right into starting our sketch so this is how I open a new part file document and SOLIDWORKS click on part and I click OK then the SOLIDWORKS interface opens up for me and I begin my sketch so let's get right into it SOLIDWORKS is kind of slow okay so this is my SOLIDWORKS user interface so first thing I do I check my metric system and I select the appropriate one Then I select the right plane which I want to sketch on so I'm sketching on the top plane now and it's good practice that whenever you want to begin your sketch you always try to make it coincident with the center line so that when you zoom your work in or out you can be able, and you try to centralize it using the shortcut that command will be executed rightly okay so i'm drawing my circles there where my circles are making a relation between them so you guys just watch and see how I'm using the different sketch entities how I will use my 2D sketch tools and modify my sketch entities so that they look exactly like my sketch and make my sketch look real so circles, arcs, lines, rectangles they are all, my, they are all sketch entities Okay, so I'll click OK and I'll add dimensions to it. Dimension is very important in design. You have to know your actual dimensions and work with it. Know how to add your dimensions. Because dimension makes your work look defined, makes your work look compact and real. you don't give your work dimension and relations when you try to apply 3d features to them or try to move them about your sketch or your model might become distorted and might not even recognize the shape in a game so that's why it's very important that as a good practice when you start when you start sketching you apply dimensions to your sketch and make them define before you apply any 3D feature. Okay, so I'm using the center point arc now to draw my arc. See how I'll do this? I'll have to click on three sides, the center point, click where I want my arc to begin, and I click where I, I want my arc to end, and that's it three clicks center point starting from my center point I click where I want it to begin I click I want it to end I click again so there it is formed like that I'm going to draw a straight line across here you see I'm using the extend tool now this is a 2D sketch tool modifying my work see how I've modified that arc there to join with a line modify this other one too so I'll trim those edges away using the trim entities tool I'm going to trim them away, trim that part away and trim the other part away. So I'm going to apply fillet I hope you are following up guys. 
I always try to add dimensions to my work so that my work looks really defined. And it's important that whenever you are sketching, you should have a complete geometry. Complete geometry in the sense that all your joints must be connected together. Your lines, your arcs, everything must be connected together. If not, your 3D feature command might not be executed rightly. You might get either a different thing or an error. So whenever you make a sketch, you make sure that sketch has a complete profile. Make sure your sketches are linked together. Now I'm going to dimension that to it, the diameter of it. Then I'm going to use the circular sketch pattern. Use the circular sketch pattern. That's it. I will cause that point entities to pattern will be my circle there. A point the midpoint there. So I'm going to increase it to the amount I want on my property manager there. So you see how my property manager opens up for me to add relations, to add any form of dimensions I need. That's what the property manager is it helps. It shows you the property you are working with at that moment. Let me add fillet there. That seems about right. I'm going to add that. And I'll mirror now. I'll mirror that, that this axe, that ship, across the other one. Across the center line as my mirror about. Mirror about will be the center line. So there it is. It's looking much nice now. Now I'm using a three point arc. So I also dodge three clicks. If I dimension that now. Yes, because see how my circle shifted from the center line because there was no relation between them. That's why relationship is very important you have to create a relation with your sketch to make it defined so if i create a relation of coincidence it returns back there and you see how my sketch turns into black to show me that yes i have defined it a defined sketch shows as black while an undefined sketch shows as blue that is said by default on the solid works so whenever your sketch is still in blue you should know that you have an undefined sketch whenever your sketch has turned to black you should know that your sketch has been defined you can also check from your status bar to see if you have a defined sketch or an undefined sketch and most of times you might be faced with undefined situation this occurs whenever you try to apply more than one dimension or relation to a single sketch entity, you get an overdefined situation. Because your sketch or entity can only have a dimension, not two. If you give it two, it becomes overdefined. So there's my there's my arc. Created it using the three point arc tool. Okay, I can mention it and I'll mirror that now. Get to create a relation there, make them tangent, create a relation with the other one, with the egg there, and make it tangent.
you know mirror that now mirror that arc but that center line that seems very okay now no existing relations i'll add an existing relation there see if you click on two entities eh, and you check on your property manager if there is no existing relation you add what you need and you click ok so this is our sketch guys you've seen how we're able to achieve this so i hope you're able to follow up and get everything so just stay tuned guys and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more videos thanks guys